you state that when the federal regulation and, and, and process becomes unbalanced with the goal of producing the energy the Interior Department manages on behalf of all Americans, then we have a situation where the federal government is purposely preventing federal production, resulting in higher prices for consumers, more foreign imports, less energy security, etc. What you are describing is energy poverty. Energy poverty imposed on the American people by a burdensome federal structure which Joe Biden has weaponized. Nearly half of Wyoming is owned by the federal government, as is over 60% of its mineral estate. When Joe Biden weaponizes his control of federal lands, he is targeting Wyoming and the Americans we serve. Wyoming produces 13 times more energy than it consumes and is the second biggest net energy supplier among the 50 states. I think one of the biggest disconnects for Washington, D.C. and Americans not from the West is to truly understand how substantial the federal presence in our community is and the impact it has on developing the resources we have, which the nation so relies upon. Americans are facing the most expensive heating bills in 25 years. Food prices are up 10% from the previous year. Gas prices in November 22 were the highest ever, and nearly 34% of American households reduced or skipped basic expenses to pay energy bills. Do you, have a, do you have similar statistics for the cost of Biden administration's policies on energy producers? Well, I think um, there was a study done that showed we would be producing two to three million more barrels a day in the United States now if President Trump's policies had been followed and not President Biden's. And that equates to us having to spend, uh, send $100 billion overseas so that we can get energy in to make up for that difference. So it's much better to produce it here. And if you look at where oil and gas is produced in Wyoming and across the West, it is certainly in remote areas, not near uh, disadvantaged communities. So we also have that added benefit in Wyoming. Thank you. And would you agree that this forced energy, that this is forced energy poverty on the American people and producers? Well, I think if these goals are ultimately brought to their conclusion, it would re result in more energy scarcity. Um, people are trying to electrify everything and get rid of natural gas. And if you take that policy to its conclusion, then when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine, we don't have electricity. So that's scarcity. That's not being able to run your ICU. That's not being able to turn the lights on. Um, so that has a lot of ramifications beyond. If these policies were taken to the ultimate conclusion, I, I believe that Americans are not um, going to let that happen. Hello, friends. I have very good news to share with you this Sunday. They are mailing out stimulus checks to many Americans right now. So if you receive monthly benefits, you may qualify for this extra stimulus check. Lawmakers have recently announced a big tax cut. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of the details. Also know that I'll be giving away two Walmart gift cards this coming Friday. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. So the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge rose last month at its fastest pace since June 2022. This is a very alarming sign that price pressures remain entrenched in the U.S. economy and could lead the Fed to keep raising interest rates well into later this year. Friday's report from the Commerce Department showed that consumer prices rose 0.6% from December to January. That is up sharply from a 0.2% increase from November 2022 to December 2022. With the increase of inflation and prices of everyday necessities, Many lawmakers are showing their support for new relief programs. Universal basic income, which is sometimes known as guaranteed income, would provide a regular payment to Americans, whether they work or not. The idea behind it is that it would decrease poverty and allow people to have a level of money without any dictation from salary or benefits. Criticism of the idea is that it might disincentivize people to work. 
However, researchers at MIT and Harvard found that programs like universal basic income had little impact on employment behavior. The city of Evanston in Illinois is being used as a trial of universal basic income. The idea behind it is that it would decrease poverty and prevent homelessness by giving everyone money to subsist regardless if they are in work or not. Residents are taking part in a program where they will receive $500 on a prepaid card once a month throughout 2023. Lawmakers have also created the Uplift program, which will provide checks of $500 to residents in Dallas, Polk, or Warren counties. Uplift programmer Michael Berger said in a recent statement, when 25% of central Iowans spend more than a third of their income on housing, there isn't much room for food, child care, or basic medical care. You must also have at least one dependent who is under the age of 25, and your household income must be or at below 60% of the area median income. Deadline for this application is February 27, 2023. Chelsea is another place testing out a universal basic income program. As the largest place on this list, 2,000 people will receive between $200 and $400. It has been in place since November 2022. In order to qualify, you must be a Chelsea resident, have applied for benefits, and have a household income that is or at below 30% of the area median average. Some residents in the city of Alexandria, Virginia, are also part of a guaranteed income program. They will receive $500 a month for 24 months with the first payments already sent out in January 2023. A few hundred more residents have also been selected to join this program. But selection is random, though individuals must have a household income that is equal to or less than 50% of the area median income. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice announced in a social media post today that he and other parties were able to negotiate a deal with the House and the Senate to create the largest tax cut in West Virginia history. Governor Justice stated, this deal returns over $750 million to hardworking West Virginians through a major cut to our personal income tax, rebate of the car tax, a 50% rebate of the property tax on inventory to small businesses and tax credits to Virginia veterans. During a West Virginia Senate Finance Committee session, the bill's key components were announced. It included a 21 and a quarter percent reduction in personal income tax over all tax brackets. It also included a refundable tax credit for personal property paid on automobiles, a 100% refundable tax credit for disabled veterans against personal income taxes that are paid on a homestead, and a 50% refundable credit against personal or corporate tax income for personal property. This announcement comes after various discussions from Governor Justice related to the possible elimination of income taxes in the state of West Virginia. So dear friends, what are your thoughts about eliminating income taxes in your state Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Well, my beautiful and amazing dearest friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Sunday. Thank you so much, friends, for being part of this community and for joining me here every single day. Friends, I will be announcing two winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the giveaway, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you, my friends, and have a wonderful and very blessed day.